over 15,000 years ago, a being appeared in the upper regions of Himalayas. No one knew who he was, where he came from. The origins of this spectacular being were unknown. When his ecstasy allowed him some movement, he danced wildly. When intensity peaked, he became utterly still. People saw that he was experiencing dimensions that no one had ever known or able to fathom. His ecstasy and intensity allowed him to transcend his physical form. Witnessing an individual human in union with the cosmos, they called him a yogi as he was the first one, the Adi Yogi. When his stillness lasted for years on end, curious onlookers melted away. Only seven seekers remained as they could not tear themselves away from him. He transmitted the profound signs of yoga in its full depth and dimension. He expounded 112 methods of attainment, offering his disciples access to the deepest in arts of creation.
In this magnificent state of yoga, many mysteries of the created and the uncreated cascaded upon his unbridled wild hair. It was a vision of the very core of the cosmos in all its profundity and magnificence, a vision of the unfathomable mysteries of the universe, a most overwhelming vision the sages and Devi Parvati had ever witnessed. Devi Parvati, seeing Adiyogi, reveling in ecstatic states, said, I want to have what you have. Show me the way. The yogi absorbed her and made her a part of himself and hence he is the Ardhanari, the ideal man where one half of him is woman. Union, Ghana's his constant companions asked, What about us? Adiyogi said, Just drink of me, which drove them into intoxicated raptures. Seven sages, the Saptarishis, took the sacred signs of yoga in all its forms to human habitations across the planet, which turned into crucibles of civilization.
battle of being is not of the past but the future of humanity. To move humanity from hallucinations of ups and downs to nameless ecstasies of one's interiority. Mm -hmm.